Hey guys, it's Sarah Ayler for softlexcompany.com and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different products uh, that we have available on our website currently. Um, we have these gorgeous uh, check glass beads in two different styles and just beautiful shades of green. And then we just launched a new mystery strand, which I used in this uh, beautiful necklace design here that I made on Facebook Live this week. You can find it on the Softlex Company uh, Facebook video page. And I took some of the uh, loose beads and from the mystery strand and added it to the beautiful green check beads. They're all check beads on the mystery strand too. And then these are the leftovers uh, that I still have available after making this necklace. Um, but I wanted to give you an idea of how you could take one of those really gorgeous mystery strands. And even though the beads don't all match each other uh, perfectly, you can really incorporate them in uh, to a design that isn't perfectly symmetrical, but still has kind of the same feeling of being uh, symmetrical because you've got the addition of these beautiful green beads um, that I had on hand. And I used our white soft flax in a medium diameter. I also made an earring uh, using the Tierra cast loops, which we have available in three different sizes. And today for YouTube, I'm gonna make a, a matching bracelet using our largest size in the hammer tone rings. These come in a lot of different metal tones. I'm using the bright gold here, but we also have them in copper. We have them in an antique brass. We have them in a black finish. And then we also have them in a silver finish that I don't have any extras uh, here today to show. Um, we also carry these makers clasps that match. Um, it's a toggle clasp that's really pretty. We have it in all the same metal tones. And we don't have the hammered um, beads. I happen to have those in my own stash, but you could use any spacer bead that you have on hand uh, for this design and, and any, you know, glass, check glass bead that you have on hand or pick up a strand of these gorgeous guys uh, on our website, which is softlexcompany.com. So I'm gonna grab our medium uh, diameter of beading wire and open it up so I can grab my strand of wire. And first things first, I am going to go ahead and start by crimping to my center and then I'm gonna bead to my clasp. So I'm gonna grab out some two by two millimeter softlux crimp tubes. Now Softlex makes what I think are the world's best crimp tubes. They're double the wall thickness of most on the market. They're seamless, solid tubing. So you don't have to worry about any um, imperfections, kind of hiding out from the manufacturing process as you do with some other crimps that are on the market that are created with a flat sheet and then rolled and they have this seam. So when you go to crimp them, they have a built-in weak point, uh, but these don't have that. They're really, really incredible and great to work with on a project like this. So I'm gonna grab one of my two by two millimeter crimp tubes and I'm working right off my spool. It's kind of off camera here, but um, I usually string right onto my spool and that way I use up less uh, extra wire in the end. So I'm gonna take my two by two millimeter crimp tube, slide it onto my wire, slide it onto my ring, and then go ahead and bring that together. You wanna leave this loose enough that it can move around and have some really nice flexibility, especially for a bracelet. You don't want this to be super tight. Um, it's not good for the wire, it's not good for the crimp, and then it's also just doesn't feel really fluidic if it's really tight. So leave it a little bit loose. You want to straighten your wires inside your crimp tube so that they're side by side. You're getting a nice straight connection. You're going to take your crimping pliers. I'm using the magical crimping pliers today. They have a little um, 
opening on either side, but the crimp tube fits in just perfectly. So I'm gonna center my crimp tube inside of my magical crimpers and then compress. If I've done it right the first time, I'll get what looks like a little four corner ravioli and turn it on its side. And you're gonna find that center again. Now you're compressing in the four corners and then you're just gonna go around and around it, tightening it down and turning it into what looks like a little round metal bead. It's a really strong way to connect to something. It also happens to look really nice. I'm gonna take my cutters, slide up to my crimp tube and trim. And here's where I can kind of decide on size. I know I'm gonna need about an extra inch for crimping, so I can cut it off about here. And that should be more than enough wire. I'm gonna just go ahead and string my beads in the order I've already decided on here. These green beads are so pretty with the gold. Such a beautiful summertime feel. Once I've got my beads on, then I can go ahead and crimp on the other side. So I'm gonna grab another one of those Softflex crimp tubes in the two by two millimeter a di diameter. You can find these on our website. Oh, don't forget to go into your clasp and then back into your crimp tube. And you want to kind of play around with this so you get your crimp tube close to your beads but you also wanna be able to bend this, especially with a bracelet, you're gonna need that extra space that the beads can slide back and forth, and this bends very comfortably on your wrist and doesn't feel really tight, um, which will create a lot of tension for the wire and the crimp. Also, again, leave a little space that your clasp can move around. You don't need it super tight. Get your wires side by side inside the crimp tube and come in with your crimping pliers and compress. The, the um, place where you connect to the clasp is super important because that gets a lot of pulling and yanking. So definitely double check it and close. And then you've got Half of the bracelet done. Now I'm going to work on the second half in the same way as the first. So I'm still using my Softlex medium all purpose glass mineral metal uh, diameter or 0.019 inch, 49 strand. Softlex is made in the USA. It's a very high quality beading wire. There's a lot of different kinds of beading wire out there. You can get uh, beading wire from China or Taiwan or Japan. You'll see lots of options from other countries, um, but nothing is quite as comparable uh, to Softlux when it comes to strength and durability, and we'll, we're known worldwide for that strength and durability. And that's really important in jewelry because uh, it is, you know, worn on such a regular basis and get so much abuse just with everything you do to your wrist as you're beating or as you're going through your day, you need a really good quality product to keep your design uh, held together. Here we go. I'm gonna do kind of the same sort of measurement at about an inch over here. That should be more than enough wire. I did a similar thing here with the earring that I did on Facebook. It's just a Softlex connector there in the center. So it's crimped to the bottom loop, crimped to the top loop, and um, quick and easy. And then just add the ear wire on the top. These rings are so beautiful. They're really fun to use. 
in all of the different metal tones and they just make designs look so elegant and special and different even though you're just using some really basic jewelry making techniques. So I've got the second half of my bracelet. I'm gonna do one more crimp to attach my toggle clasp. So I strung my crimp tube, the other half of my toggle, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Be very mindful and careful that I'm leaving enough space that this can really bend and feel comfortable. And then also that I'm leaving enough space in my clasp that it's going to feel really nice. And when I'm doing a clasp, I often like to look at both sides and see if they're similar um, as you're going to see them together whenever your bracelet is on. So you don't want one to be super big and one to be super small. You can kind of do a quick comparison there. And then I'm going to come in with my magical crimpers and finish off this design. So you can see there's quite a bit of space between that last bead and the crimp that really bothers some people. Um, but the thing is, is that you need that space for the beads to be flexible when you're wearing them. So don't worry too much about a little bit of extra space there. It is not noticeable when the bracelet is actually strung together and um, you won't see any extra space at all. And that's when it's most important is what it looks like when you're wearing it. And so that is my uh, fun summery check glass bracelet. You could use any check glass beads that you have on hand, or you can check out these lovely beads or these gorgeous ones on our website. We also have some beautiful reds. And then of course we have those fun mystery strands. And this week only you can buy to get one free. Um, so that is good through uh, next Tuesday on our website, which is softlexcompany.com.